A lot of people think uh, context-sensitive design, context-sensitive solutions is picking brick colors, and it's not. Uh, yeah, that's an aspect of it, but in its broadest terms, what you really want to do is it's, it's about the process. And there you want to be able to involve people, all stakeholders, uh, from the, as soon as the project is deemed uh, that, it, that it's going to move forward, it's gone through the feasibility uh, portion of it, you really want to start asking people what their issues are. And it may be quite different than what the people who are scoping out the project uh, believe to be the issue. Uh, the people who live right there and will be most affected really have an, an intimate view of what they, they perceive the, the issues to be. And it may be different than, or quite, quite contrary in some cases, to what the people who are developing the project at the state or the federal level uh, perceive the issues to be. So in developing a project through the context-sensitive design process really involves first that that scoping aspect of it and understanding what the project's needs are, what the goals are, so that we all, at the end of that portion of it, you can all say, yeah, we really now understand what we want to achieve here. Then the second part of the question is, well, okay, well now how do we do it? Uh, that's where it goes back to the design professionals and you and with uh, community input you can begin to develop alternatives that would satisfy the needs and goals of the project for them to be then uh, relayed back to all the stakeholders so that they can say well that's a good idea no that's pretty dumb and this is okay we can go back and forth there so that you cobble together a an alternative that seems to satisfy the goals and needs and that every everyone that has looked at it can say, yeah, I can live with that. You're probably not going to get everything you want, but if you can reach a consensus and people can say, yeah, I can live with that, then, then you've achieved the ability to move forward into final design. That's where you pick bricks. <laughs> That's where you start picking brick colors because the, the, the way that the final design is expressed, and then we go back to the architectural treatments that we were talking uh, of earlier, once the design begins to be expressed in a style and having a theme and having um, treatments that will be included in the final design, that's where you start saying, well, do I want to use uh, red bricks or blue bricks? Uh, but that's not what context sensitive design is. It's not just picking brick colors or not just picking light, what kind of light pole do you want. It goes way back at the project development portion of it so that all stakeholders' uh, needs and concerns are considered in the development of the preferred alternative. A lot of times we're brought into a project where the, the highway or roadway designers have said, okay, we're all set for you, come on in and pretty it up. <laughs> and I go, well, okay, and then I'll start asking questions like, well, why are you using steel instead of concrete, or why are you using stubble buttons instead of full hydro buttons, or how come your peers are here instead of there, and why don't you push the thing down six feet so I don't see it from what all these questions, which are completely valid, and in the in the aspect of context and, and comprehensiveness, need to be asked uh, long before we start picking brick colors. And and if I have a conversation with the designers and they say, well, gee, you know, gee, Jeff, those are really good ideas, but we're kind of too far down the process to uh, to really consider them. That's what makes me mad. That's when you start seeing steam pour out of my ears because I realized that, in fact, it could have been done if it had been included earlier in the process. So my suggestion or my, my desire is to, uh, once a, a project becomes real, is to then develop a team, a multidisciplinary team of designers that each have a unique perspective on how projects can be or should be developed. Because what, what's important to one person is not so important to another person who has equally valid but simply different uh, perspective. If you garner that input at the earliest possible stages, you'll have the best possible chance of developing an alternative that has the broadest amount of consideration put to it. 